Hi there everyone, hope you're all doing well and welcome to another episode of Embolic Craft. In today's episode, this place will get some love. As you guys can see, um, this is currently what it looks like. Um, spawn Island is right there and I am right here and I've got some cows here. I've got um, a drowned right there and a little parrot and you know just not much really going on around here so I want to kind of make this place look a little bit better at least um, so yes let's get on with this episode all right so one thing that's been bugging me a lot actually is when I come out of my little hole right there I need to quickly try and maneuver with the boat all the way out there and that is a little bit of a distance to just you know travel if i quickly want to go back to the shopping district or spawn island so i want to kind of cut out this unnecessary work right here and that's kind of what inspired the idea of trying to fix this place up a little bit so that it's less of a nightmare less of a hassle and also this issue that i've got I've always got drowns or skeletons right here. So as you guys can see, that right there is a big issue um, as well. I mean, I do have my dock here and yeah, I can have a boat go out, but that's a bit of an issue because you see, it's a small space to maneuver and do your thing. So I think what I want to do is I want to expand this walkway over to there and kind of take it. From there, um, maybe build like a little docking station area at that side and yeah, have a nice little bridge going across. Alright guys, so I've got some supplies, um, we're going to use some wood, so, so as you guys can see I've got jungle and I've got oak. So I kind of want to see which is going to look better um, to cross over to that point and um, yeah, kind of make a nice little walkway. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so I have reached over, I decided to go with the jungle wood, um, purely because it kinda has similar um, color to the dirt, if you kinda look you can kinda see that there. Um, so I kinda just went with that because it probably seems a little bit more natural. Um, so yeah, there you can kinda see. Yeah. It's a very similar contrast, um, so that's good. Now I still need to do some more detailing on it, um, but it is definitely functional. As you guys can see, I now have this area here that I can kind of work with, make my little docking station probably around right about here-ish, and yeah, have an entrance and an exit right here no problem whatsoever so yeah i think that is a good idea 
Alright, so an idea I'm really enjoying is having like these tiki torches um, placed down like every three blocks and yeah, it kind of will light up the pathway and I think it will look pretty cool. So um, yeah, I'm just going to continue this tiki torch idea and then I don't know, should I go down here perhaps? Or maybe down here? Hmm, look at that one. Enjoying himself, taking a nice little bath. <laughs> With his friend right here. Um, yeah, anyways. Oh, and a piggy also. Cool. Um, so yeah, I think I'm having some ideas come to mind now though. Like, maybe I can have this as, you know, metal outpost, maybe some docks, maybe some boats, stuff like that, and yeah, kind of like, you know, for trading or something like that, being able to connect these two pieces. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the idea that I have. Hello, how are you? This little piggy went to the market, this p little piggy got slain. This little piggy doesn't exist anymore. And that's the name of the game. Alright guys, so I just placed the last um, tiki torch right here. And there's mobs outside. It is dark. Actually, it kind of looks cool. Um, but now I'm kind of cornered-ish. Creeper, no, 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 skeleton, 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 it's not completely mob proof just yet, but it does kind of look so much cooler, um, yeah, having some, oops, skeleton, oh, come on, alright, let's run, 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 because right now it's <laughs> it's not a good choice to be outside. Alright guys, so um, this is kind of what it looks like right now. I have my tiki torches, I've got my pathway right there. Um, yeah, I've got this whole bay area, there's like a little dock as well. Yeah, the path goes underneath this tree, onto this bridge, just added some more torches there, need to still complete that. And then there it goes. Also worked a little bit on a um, little farming area there for my wheat to grow. Um, which I think is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so this is kind of what it looks like right now after I chopped down some trees and stuff. And it's coming along nicely. I got some more cows as well and I've got my wheat growing there. Um, I still have my mine um, down there with like my other farms and stuff. But at least starting out here on top a little bit kind of kind of makes it look a little bit more like a living space right here. Um, I don't know, we'll have to see what we will do with the rest of this place, but yeah, this is currently what it looks like and I think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's quite something at this point in time to kind of work from and, you know, just have a little farm and all this kind of stuff, so I think that is that is really cool. Um, okay, that was an epic fail, but um, 
yeah, so Stormy came to my place now the other day and he's like, okay, well, he's gonna take some of the enderpearls that I got and he left me this chest. And there we have an iron pickaxe with unbreaking 3 and efficiency 3 as well. So Stormy, thank you very much for that. Alright, so for those of you who is interested in knowing how I did this farm, um, pretty much all I did was I went and I used the hoe, got a 9x9 space and then the center block took that out, put some water in there and then two blocks above that I just placed a dirt block there with some torches next to it just so that we can get the area lit up quite nicely. Now this isn't one of the most efficient um, designs out there. I would like to maybe get something like carrots and every second row alternated with one row wheat, one row carrots, one row wheat, one row carrots, one row wheat, one row carrots. And the reason I would like to do that is pretty much because of the ticks, um, the game ticks. What happens is uh, with the random ticks it decides what needs to happen with that block and stuff like that and that kind of chooses how things need to grow. So um, obviously this wheat patch is gonna grow a whole lot slower than it would if I had them just alternating with regards to wheat, carrots, wheat, carrots, wheat, carrots or anything for that matter. Alright guys, so unfortunately that's going to be it for today's episode. I'm happy that we finally got a farm going there and that we have this bridge going over there. Um, next episode I'm planning on improving this area just a little bit more so that we can have some proper decent um, docking area right here and yeah, kind of improve it as well and make it look good and kind of transform this area just a little bit more as uh, compared to what it is now so yeah thank you very much for watching guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you all in the next episode cheers Control.